welcome back everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out live with us here in the Get Real studio. You guys, I'm Mrs. Coyote and this is my special guest. Renly. Renly, and she is here to hang out with you guys today as we do some activities together from your Get Real Guide. So make sure you have your guide with you. If for whatever reason you don't have one, you can download one in the link below so you can follow along with what we are making today. And today we are making something called a paper spinner. And this is gonna be a really, really fun activity. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know what materials you need to make this happen. We're gonna give you 60 seconds to gather those materials. Don't forget to ask a parent if you need help or permission to do this, and even invite your parent to come over here and do some activities with us. Renly, are you ready? Yes. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what you need to make a paper spinner. So in front of me, I have the materials. First thing, you're gonna need some white paper. It's just computer paper and nothing special. Grab some paper. You're gonna need some crayons or markers. You're gonna need scissors. You're gonna need a glue stick. You're gonna need some string. You're gonna need a pencil. And you're gonna need some cardboard. I just cut this off of a box. It can be cardboard from anywhere. And then lastly, you're gonna need something with a circle because we are going to trace some circles. So you guys have 60 seconds, 60 seconds to gather all those things. And while we wait, we're gonna ask a silly question so you guys can comment below with your answers and you guys can keep commenting all throughout this video. So question of the day today is, Renly, if you could make the world's biggest milkshake, what would you put in that milkshake? Gummy bears. Love it. Ice cream. Love it. Donuts and donuts. Those are great answers. That milkshake sounds delicious. You guys, what milkshake would you make if you could make the world's largest milkshake? Comment below so that we know what kind of milkshake you're thinking about. If I could make a milkshake, I would probably put in pickles. I would put in worms and I would put in some chocolate syrup because we need that sweet thing, right? Sounds delicious. I can't wait to drink it. All right, you guys, your 60 seconds is up. We are gonna get started. And that's okay if you haven't gotten your materials yet. This video will be ready for you to watch and rewatch later on. So let's go ahead and jump in and make our paper spinners. All right, first things first. We're gonna start with our paper. We're gonna start with our circular item. I'm just using a plastic cup and I'm gonna use this pencil. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna trace two circles onto a piece of paper. Now here's the deal. I have a little trick to make this go faster. You wanna know what it is? Yeah. Take your paper, fold it in half. So now when we cut the circle out, you already have two instead of cutting out two separate ones because we want them to be the same size. All right, Renly, you wanna help me out? Yeah. Okay, let's put our cup on. This is about the size of the circle we're gonna make. Go ahead and trace right around that. Very good, very good. Now you guys, this week, in our Get Real series, we're talking about what it means to be real with yourself. Now, that's kind of a big thing to think about. And the question that we asked you to think about is, how will you choose to be real with yourself about your sin or your brokenness this week? Now, that can be kind of an intimidating question to answer. It can be intimidating to think about because you have to think about, ooh, yikes, where am I struggling with sin in my life? So maybe you guys have already had this conversation with your small group leader. Maybe you guys have had this conversation with your friends or your family. Can you guys comment below, share with us? We're all about being real here, and I would love to hear some of your thoughts on that question. Renly, how are we looking? Good. Okay, we have a pretty fabulous looking circle, if you guys can see it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this circle out. And remember, like I said, if we did this right, which I feel pretty confident we did. When we're done cutting, we should have two circles the exact same size. Now, Renly, how do you feel about coloring? You into it? You like coloring stuff? I like coloring she stuff. She likes coloring stuff, awesome. Well, Renly, as you can see, we have some crayons out on our table today, and so what I'm gonna ask you to do is draw some fun designs on these circles. Okay. Okay. Already you guys, design. good news, we did it right. We've got two circles. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad we, we nailed that. Okay, so we have our two circles. So what we're gonna do now is you guys can take as many colors as you want. Like I mentioned, you use crayons, markers, colored pencils, paint, ketchup. Let's not get crazy, but you, you get what I'm doing. So go ahead and grab some colors. And what we're gonna do is decorate our circles. Hey, okay, I wanna get this hot pink. Awesome, so there's no rules. I'm just gonna make some fun, colorful stripes. So you guys go ahead and take a minute, get those colors on your circles. 
careful not to color on the table, which maybe is what I just did. I'm gonna put this underneath just to be safe. I did not color on the table. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, now I'm gonna get this bright color blue. Awesome. Rinley, if Can you could like invent it? a new color, what would you name the new color? I don't even know what it would look like. I don't even know. Okay, let's I name some see. colors. I would call it, I would call my new color Juju Fra. What's would, the color I just invented? Okay, I would call um, my color Spike. Ooh, Spike, sounds like a pet. That's really fun. You guys, if you guys could invent a new color, what color would it be? What would you name it? Comment below, okay. I wanna hear about it. So you guys are probably wondering, hey, Mrs. Coyote, what is the deal with these paper spinners? Why are we making paper spinners this week? Well, remember we talked about being real with yourself. And one of the cool things that we also talked about this week is how God has made us each so uniquely and he's made us on purpose too. So exactly who you are is who God wants you to be. Now that doesn't mean that we can't always make sure that we are more like Jesus. We can learn more about him. Obviously, we're talking about sin this week, so we're always looking for opportunities to read the Bible. We're looking for opportunities to be more like Jesus, but God did make, make each of us unique, just like these paper spinners that we're making today. As you can see, I'm making mine one way, Renly's making hers another way, but that's because they are both unique and they're meant to be different like that. So that's why we're making these today. Renly, how are we doing? Okay, while Renly's finishing her circle up, I'm going to go ahead and do the next step. And all you're gonna do now is take your cardboard and you're gonna use that same, whatever you're using to make the circles, you're gonna use that same thing. So I'm gonna use my cup and I'm gonna trace one more circle onto the cardboard. So just and like I'm this. Gonna get this blue. So we're gonna end up with three circles, one cardboard circle, two paper circles that are all the same size. And I'm just gonna do so this. I've traced my circle. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out now. Cardboard's I'm a done little with bit. Mine. Oh, that looks great. Cardboard's a little bit trickier to cut, but if you have some good scissors, you should have any probably cutting it. I got any a problem diamond. It right now I got a diamond. Will you show right everyone here? what yours looks like, Ren? Looks good, I like it. Yeah. So, so good. All right, we're cutting, we're cutting, we're almost done. All right, now we have our cardboard circle. Great job. Okay, we're almost done, you guys. There's only a couple more steps to this thing and then we are good to go. So now we have our one cardboard circle. We have our okay. two colored circles. So what we're gonna do next is use a glue stick. You can also tape it on whatever is easiest for you. We're gonna tape the paper onto the cardboard. So I'm gonna pop open my glue stick. I'm gonna do my paper wren and then I'm gonna flip it over and you can do yours. So we're gonna just put glue all over one side of the cardboard. You guys can see that. Awesome. Whoop. Ooh, it's getting crazy. Okay, we're gonna slap it on there. Make sure it's all pressed in, good to go. Seems pretty secure to me. Renly, you wanna glue your side on? Yes. Okay, so she's gonna glue her side on and in just a second, we're gonna go ahead and poke some holes through this circle and then we're gonna put some string in it and then I'm gonna show you what this paper spinner can do. It's very exciting, I can't wait to show you guys. So, so cool. All right, you guys. Almost done. Here she goes. Paper on. We have made contact. All right, very, very good. Okay, now the easiest and the safest way to get holes through this is just using your pencil. I so would probably take your pencil, pencil and in the center of this cardboard, we're gonna do two small holes kind of right next to each other. So if you guys can see, I'm just gonna poke on through. You might wanna spin it. Watch your fingers on the other side so you don't poke yourself. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, the holes don't have to be huge. <clears throat> because the string we're gonna put through is pretty thin. So can you guys see, we have some holes there. It goes all the way to the other side. All right, now we're gonna take our string. Uh, you can do it about two and a half, three feet long. And then we're just gonna cut it off. Okay, move our string aside. All right, these are the final steps of our paper spinner. So all you have to do now is we're gonna stick the string right through the holes. So pick one hole, push it through. Rinley, can you pull it out the other side? Yes. Thank you. Now we're gonna take, so you can see the string is kind of just through one side like that. Now we're gonna take the other end of the string and we're gonna poke it through the other hole, right like this. Okay, Rinley, you wanna pull it through? Yes. All the way, do you see it? 
did it escape? Oh, she found it. Whew. All right. So we're pulling it all the way through. So now it's kind of looped in like that. Okay. Now we're going to take our string. Hope you guys are doing okay out there. We're almost done. Take the two ends of the string. And all we're going to do is tie them together. So you're going to want to double knot it because you don't want them falling apart. The fun part is about to happen. All right, so we're tying our double knot. Are you ready to spin this thing? Yeah. Oh, yes. Dinah, are you ready? He's shy. He doesn't talk a lot. Okay. So now we've basically created a loop with our cardboard circle. So now that you have it tied, this end over here, you're going to pull back through. So now you should basically have this situation going on. Your circle's kind of in the center, and you have two strings on the end. Now, here's the fun part. Renly, you might want to sit back a little bit so I don't whack you in the face. All right. What the next trick face? is we're going to spin this circle, and so we're going to get the string all twisted up. Now, to make this even cooler, you're going to want to spin it a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and loop it like this. Your string's going to go ahead and start twisting together like all the way to the end. And... And twist it a couple more times and then I'm just gonna pull it and now watch what it does here we go wow. just like that pretty cool right yeah keep spinning keep spinning you just keep doing it over and over again you guys that is the paper spinner that was pretty easy pretty simple go ahead and share it with your family and friends and you guys we would love to see your paper spinners and the designs you came up with so go ahead ask your parent permission to post a picture of it online and hashtag get real paper spinner so we can check it out and maybe even repost it in our social media so you guys we're talking about what it means to be real with yourself this week don't forget that god made each of you uniquely and special just like the two sides of this paper spinner thank you so much for hanging out with us i'm mrs coyote and this is renly iron yes and we loved hanging out with you this week we'll see you next time see you then